This is all for the, the water line that is gonna go into the pump house. Started digging here and uh, of course it's sprinkling a little bit, but that's okay. I wanted to show you guys, that comes from our septic pump from down below that I had dug out and it basically, it runs through here and it goes around the building and it goes all the way down, goes all the way down to the front of there. So it comes through here, wraps around. And I thought I had more space going down, but I got super lucky. And I had uh, my brother-in-law here with me, Marvin, and he was keeping an eye out and he saw white. And that was that. And luckily we didn't even touch it with the backhoe. So um, I'm just super thankful that that happened the way it did. Otherwise I'd have to dig this up. I'd probably have a little bit of a mess on my hand too, but we'd have to dig that up, put some couplers on there and replace that line. So luckily we don't have to. We're just gonna offset a little bit. We're gonna dig, continue on. And the other thing is all this is gonna be raised up. So it might look like I'm not, I'm, right now I'm digging 18 inches down, but I'm gonna add another, probably 10 inches to this. So it's actually gonna be like 26. It'll be a good solid two feet. It'll be a solid two feet down there below grade. So we'll, we'll be well below. Um, so I just wanted to show you that. We almost screwed up, but luckily we had somebody watching. He caught it and we're safe and sound. Right, Marv? <laughs> we got lucky. <laughs> So we made it to this line where it goes into the shop. Now we're gonna go inside the shop and find where the line comes in under the foundation. We had a one inch line going in. That was our plan initially. When we got our engineered sprinkler plans back, they required a one and a half inch line. So we had to replace that line. So that's why we're digging everything up, putting in our new line and redoing all our filters inside the pump house. We got our helpers with us today. Amelia, are you helping? Yeah. yeah. I already made it down to the conduit lines. Oh, good. So it shouldn't which be long. They were just right below. Yeah. Underneath it. All right, we got our one inch line out. Now we're getting our one and a half inch line in we got our water line see the ends taped there you ready marv okay so we're gonna go in with it we have a big piece of conduit stubbed out that we put in before we did the foundation that's where our water line is going in thankfully we did it bigger than we needed so now our bigger line fits down there. Do you want me to come forward at all? Yep. It's quite the muddy mess you've made back here. The... Yep, that's perfect. Yeah. We got that. It runs down. And right at the end of this, right there, there's actually a PVC conduit there that we're fishing through. Now we're going to go back outside. We're going to un uncoil that water line. We'll fish it underneath the tractor and then and then we'll bury it. Actually, maybe maybe I'll bury this real quick. So th this holds it.
arriba. You know, this has just been wrapped for two years. I know. It's held up pretty well. Actually, we grabbed this other side, Marv, so it, I don't think it has any tension in it. But this stuff will, it'll fly. Yeah, it does have some tension. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you want to watch Perfect here and tell me which way to go? Okay. Okay, where do we need to be, Liz? Right there. Uh, towards you, to uh, me, towards the back, right there, oh, yep, that's it, yeah. So since we are putting in a bigger line than we originally had, we had to buy new filters. So we have to, we got a new spin down filter and we got a new sediment filter. We're gonna put a new line in from our pressure tank. We'll keep this existing line with these two filters okay. and those will continue so, to supply um, down below at the tiny house. So those won't be used we'll a ton, this, but we'll have we'll our our new line with our new filters After, that will supply the shop and eventually the house we as well. Just like that, we got our water line ran. All right. Uh, you know, we have two things to be thankful for. Number one is Marvin for not letting me bust our sewage line. Oh yeah. And number two, this tractor, because it minimized so much work. Probably two days worth of digging. Yeah. But then it would have rained mm -hmm. during that time. So all that dirt would have packed in and then probably another day, two days to backfill it because it's all going to be hard and packed because of the rain. Yeah, this is hard clay. So and and you guys were done digging before I even got out here. Yeah, it that was that was awesome. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we have the one and a half inch line stubbed out over here, and now we're going to do our fittings to um, plumb it into the rest of the system. We are so close to being ready to pressurize. We just have to do some fittings in the pump house to get our filters um, onto that line and then put it into the pressure tank. And then we'll be ready to pressurize. The only thing we have left with our septic lines are the vents that go out the fascia in the front. We have to put those in. We've been waiting for a dry day so that we can silicone around those um, so that they don't let water in. And we have a couple dry days, so we're gonna try to get a lot done but for now, we're just gonna finish connecting this water line in. Tomorrow we have to go run some errands. We have a few more fittings to get. We're gonna do a dump run finally. And then we're gonna get some more stuff done outside because we're gonna have a couple dry days in a row. What do you got? We have some parts. So we need, we're gonna need one more inch and a half 90. Okay. And I better we, make a list. Yeah. Look how big this expander fitting is. And these collars, these things are huge. Okay, so. So this is our main shut off. In any... <laughs> In any type of uh, situation where we need to flip the water off real quick, this is our shut off. Okay. Just like that. So we have a T there, that three quarter inch line will go to the water heater. That's right. And then we'll continue the inch and a half up 
here to connect into our one inch main line. And this is all going to be exposed. It's not going to be in the wall. And why is that? Um, if we do have a deep freeze, I, I minimized how much water lines are actually on the exterior wall. Um, and when it gets really cold, I just don't, I want to, this is a big line. And if I had it in the wall, you're going to have limited insulation. So I feel like let's just mount it in here. The shop's going to be heated. So there's no reason to have it on the exterior wall and run the risk of it freezing. Cause we've ran into that so much, mainly because we're in a trailer, but now we have a fear of the lines freezing. <laughs> So if we can mitigate that as much as possible, we're gonna do that. So down here, we'll just have this main line exposed. And then if I ever need to add water to this for something, um, then I have this line here that I could tap into and it's plenty of water, too much water. And then our shutoff valve is exposed and right. easy to access. Easy to access. So it'll be right here, right next to the water heater. So that'll shut down all the water to this place. So if the sprinklers go off for some reason and we don't need them running anymore, we can come down here. So it'll be in the on position like this. We can come down here and basically just shut it off. And that shuts down water to everything here, except for our hydrants outside. Those are on a separate line, which is kind of nice, but yeah. This is our cold water in. So eventually we'll cut it probably about right here and that'll go into the hot water as cold water. Then our hot water supply, which is the out, outgoing hot water, is gonna go through this and then we'll attach that to the outline on our hot water heater. So right now we're just bypassing the hot water heater that would be here and it's just looped. We're done. The only thing we have left to do on our water lines is the pump house. We have to connect it to our pressure tank and connect in our water filters. And then yeah. we have a complete system. Yeah. We yep. could pressurize at that point. Yeah, after the sprinkler heads. We have two more sprinkler heads we gotta put on. Oh yeah, I forgot. But those are, those are ready. We just need the actual heads themselves and then we can get that done. But that'll be fun. So, so potentially tomorrow we could pressurize? Yeah, if we connect all that stuff up, for sure. So, pretty exciting. That's scary so and exciting. Are Did you, you miss him? Are you my boy? I was him. Can I go on this way so I can? Yeah. I was him. And you see? I was him. I just have some fudge about him. So we decided to add house wrap instead of just relying on the zip sheathing because filling all the nail holes is gonna be a pain and we just wanna add a little extra layer of protection um, to keep us dry and make sure that we don't get any water damage, that we don't have any leaks. Um, Here. I don't, you I don't mean, like color? it's upside down. That's awkward. Go ahead. Go all the way. Roll up. it back up. <laughs> Roll it back. Pull it off. Let's <laughs> break. <laughs> Quit time. The nice thing is this wrap goes up real quick. I stand by you when you're falling. When the river is calling, I said I love you forever. We can make it together. What goes up must be down. There's lots of friendly faces all around, and nothing's ever lifting me higher. 
So we had both of these house wraps already from different projects. So I think we're going to end up having three different types of house wrap. Is that right? Yeah. But that's okay. You know, the only thing having three different house wraps might do is make us want to put siding on even faster. You're not kidding. <laughs> We made it almost all the way around on the bottom with what we already had. We have two more full rolls. Hopefully that'll get us the rest get of the at way. The bottom. Um, well, we're gonna cut it. All right, here's our third variety of house wrap. <laughs> Which can't beat free. No, well, you cannot. This one wasn't free. No. have a little taping left to do so we're trying to knock that out real quick we got our neighbor Phil here helping we have Victor we got Marvin got a crew today we've been waiting for some dry days to get this taping done so we're trying to take advantage of these two dry days that we have so we're trying to get the rest of this taping done get the waterproofing up hopefully getting that last okay. window in Don't break the window. got a little bit windy, so I'm a little bit nervous to do that window. Oh my goodness. We have four guys. I'm not going to be much help because I'm going to be filming, so hopefully everything goes smoothly. Wish us luck. Uh, how confident are you about this window? Seven and a half out of ten. Seven, seven and a half out of ten. Okay. Uh, a lot of wind though on this side. Yeah, we do. An amazing amount of wind. No. It's not going to break. Whatever you do, don't touch this. That'll let it fly. All right. Plus, you can't shoot my teeth like a yeah. <laughs> Okay, you ready? We're over. And then we'll just slide it up little by little. Watch out for that metal flange that got there. You up there, Mark? So the wind kept pulling the paper out of the staples. This zip tape though is very nice, Ooh. real sticky. So that ought to do the trick, hopefully. We just get such high winds here, don't we Amelia? Yeah. Does it get windy here? Mm -hmm. What yeah. is that thing? What does it look like? Can I have it? <laughs> what do you have? What is it? <laughs> you have my money. Hey, don't hit me. <laughs> Not gonna try and leapfrog around like, the corner? I, I already did it. <laughs> Oh, good girl. 
Is that the end for today? Yeah. I just didn't want this to yeah. blow off. Right. I pop in the morning and oh it's all at Kate's house. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, that's that's peace of mind right there. Yeah. You know, to be honest, if you hadn't Oof. done that, uh -huh. I would not be surprised if it was off in the morning. I would have no doubt that it would be off in the yeah. morning. Yeah. We get high wind up here. So, this way, I think we're good. That's awesome. Actually, We have all our windows in. All the windows are in. All right, are you recording your shot for me? Yeah. Oh, sorry. <gasps> Woohoo! We're done, finally. Done with windows. Now we just have two exterior doors to do, mm -hmm. besides the garage doors eventually, but just the two exterior doors, and then um, those are done. Yay! We'll see you guys in the morning. Here we go. You got water coming up. Oh. oh.